day seven of Opal Kids, 12 days of Christmas. And let's stick with sensory and talk a little bit more about our sense of vision. More specifically, Christmas lights. Christmas lights are so cute, right? And in addition to the lights, there's also the extra visual stimulation you get from the decorations and the tinsels and all these other things that you put up at Christmas. But here's the thing. The decorations, the flashing lights, the unpredictability of the patterns with the flashing, all of those things can be scary or frustrating to a child who has some sensitivities to that visual sense. So here are some tips to help you manage the environment and support your child at the same time. As we discussed in day one, prepare. You can prepare a child as much as possible for when the lights are going to come on. For example, if it's at a certain time every night. Next, if you have the flashing lights with different modes, why not have your child be in control of which mode you get to use each night? This can take away some of the unpredictability by giving them more control over the situation. If you have the lights that only flash on one mode, you can figure out the pattern beforehand and let your child know this so that they will know when to expect the flash. On the other hand, some children love to look at the light. So if you have a concern about this effect in their eyes, you can redirect them to something equally as enjoyable, but safer. We have one more sensory day left. So stick around for more in day eight. Bye.